Hi guys, it's Fifi Sterling here. Welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be making this beautiful corporate dress with a stylish cape. If this is what you're interested, you kindly keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, you are welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button. And to my returning subscribers and non-subscribers, you're welcome back to the channel. Thank you for sticking with us. So the inspiration is the one on orange and the black is the recreation. If you find this video very useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and comment. Okay, so first we'll be drafting it on a pattern so what i've done here is i measure the shoulder line shoulder to bust my shoulder to under bust the waistline and then um, similar one for the neck width is 2.75 and for the neck depth is going to be three inches if you're on a plus size please make the neck neck width to be three inches okay so i'm just going to connect so for the back the neck um, width depth for the back is going to be 1.5 so but i marked it here but there won't be any need for this because i'll be using another pattern paper to draft for the back okay on the bust point i'll mark the bust point which is 8 inches divided by 2 giving me 4 so i'm going to mark it all the way to the waistline and connect with a straight line on this part i'm going to divide these two points by 2 to get the midpoint and I'm going to mark it and then we'll connect it back to meet the bust point. On the under bust, I'm going to take 0 0.5. I'll mark 0 0.5 on both sides of that line. This dress won't be having any curve, so I won't be taking so much from the under bust. So I'm going to mark 0 0.5 and then I'm going to connect with a straight line. And next is to connect them to meet the bust points just like so. So now on this part I'm going to take half inch on both sides of the line. When you're drafting a princess um, princess that post here, you usually take one inch, but because this one won't be having any cup. It's going to be like a princess dart, but a more snatched princess dart, okay? So, I'm just going to mark out the part that is going to be the dart. So, because we took one inch from that part, we're going to replace it here. So, we won't have any short shortage around that armhole side. Okay, so this is what we have. So, now the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark the bust circumference divided by 4, okay? So, I'm just going to mark it. Bust circumference divided by 4, I'll mark it right here. And then, I'll be adding 1.5 for seam allowance. I'll connect the armhole curve to meet this point. Then on the underboss, I'm going to mark the same thing. The round underboss divided by 4. And then we're going to replace this start intake. And then we're going to add our same allowance. On the waistline, I'm going to mark the waist circumference divided by 4 as well. We'll mark it and then replace the dart intake and add the same allowance. So what we'll have on the waistline, we're going to extend it to the same, to the allowance there. So I'm just going to connect this point. For the back pattern, okay, I've already imputed the shoulder line, neckline, and the waistline, and then I also added the zipper allowance. So from this point, I'm going to mark the bust bank, which is four inches. I'll mark it here all the way to the chest line, connect with a straight line. And from that chest line, I will come downwards by one, one inch and take half inch on both sides of the line and connect. We already, we already know how to do this part. So here I'm going to mark the bust circumference divided by four, added my seam allowance. Here I'll mark the waist circumference divided by four, replace that intake and then add my seam allowance. And we'll just connect. So for this part, I'm going to take half inch away from half inch inwards the zipper allowance this helps the back to really relax very well okay so this will be the the new zipper allowance and i'm just going to cut this sorry i forgot to mark the armhole so i'm just going to mark the armhole so 
so this is what i have i've gone ahead to cut it on the fabric i'm so sorry i forgot to show us the fabric i was using it's a rip fabric it's kind of stretchy all those fabrics that has like something like a tiny print on them so you can use any fabric of your choice to actually make this dress but for me i use this rib i notice that the fabric is kind of stretchy so if you're using a stretchy fabric you might not need to add any seam allowance because at the end of the day i ended up having excess seam allowance i had to trim off okay so if you're using a stretchy fabric might just add like half inch for seam allowance but if not use the same exact pattern that i used so moving on i'm going to take this part right side facing each other we're going to go and stitch making sure that the underboss match i'm going to go and join it with half inch seam allowance so i'm just going to secure it with a pin and then i'm going to go and stitch it with half an inch and i also do the same for this part as well place it this way and i'm going to join with half inch seam allowance so this is what I have when I'm done. I've also gone ahead to weave the inside, okay? Next is to work on the neckline. So we're going to adjust the neckline because this is not how it's going to be. So from this part, you can decide which part you want the kit to be facing. So from this part, I'm going to come downwards by say seven inches. And then I'm going to connect it with a straight, really just a straight line to join, to connect back to the neckline. And from here, I'm just going to curve it to meet this point. Okay. so how deep you want this to be is totally up to you you can decide to make it as deep or not so deep okay so i'm just going to cut this this is our new neckline moving on to the back measure the length of the dart always remember to notch your dart i'm going to take one piece and fold it just like so first i'm just going to secure it with a pin measure the dart length and next i'll go and stitch up the dots just like so and i'll also do the same for this second one as well and this is what i have okay so next i'm going to do now is i'm going to place this right side facing each other and i'm going to go and close up the zipper allowance with loose stitches okay so here this is what it looks like so i'm going to get the front Placing the back on its right side facing each other, I'm going to go and join the two on the shoulder with half inch. So here I've done all that, and I've also gone ahead to trim my ample half length and everything. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring the down part. Okay, so I didn't show the cutting of this down part because I have a lot of video on how you can do that on this page. I'll be linking them in the description so you you can go and watch it later. So I'm just holding the front, front upper part and the lower part together and I'll also do the same for the back. I'm just going to place it like so, right side facing each other. I'll go and stitch it, stitch everything down with half inch. So this is what I have when I'm done. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to close up the sides. Okay, so I'm going to close the side with our body measurements. Okay, so here I've done that. So next is to work on our collar. So for the collar, you're going to measure around the neck. Starting from the zipper allowance, I'm going to measure all the way until I get to this point. This point where we have that V. So what I got is 17 inches. Okay. So from that same point, you're going to measure to the other side, all the way to the back, all the way to the zipper allowance. Okay. And what I have there is 13.75. Um, so now I'm going to be drafting this collar on this pattern paper. So I'm just going to roll my starting line and from that line measure 17 and a half which is what we we'll go for one of the color 17 17 inches sorry and for the wideness I'm using four inches I'll mark it at that point and also mark four inches here so here I'm just going to mark the same 17 inches and then I'm going to connect with a straight line okay so on this on this top part, I'm going to mark 13.75, which is for this smaller collar. Okay. And also I'll mark four inches for the wideness of the collar. So I'm doing this this way because I didn't have enough pattern paper. As at the time I was making this video, I didn't have enough pattern paper. That was why I did it this way. But just follow what I'm doing here in case you don't understand it. I'm going to explain much better after this. Okay. So here I'm just going to connect all the dots. 
because my pattern paper isn't enough on this part so i'll be using the smaller one to continue the illustration okay so on this lower part i'll come inwards by half an inch that is where this part is going to be around the neck the back neck sorry okay then i'm just going to connect it this way for the smaller one the for that pointy part of the collar i'm going to mark three inches but i let her extended it to five inch inches because i want it to be longer than that okay so you're just going to connect it back to the base so here i'm correcting it because i wanted it to be much longer than this so i now made it about five inches if you want it to be longer you can extend it as long as you want and also from this part i'll go upwards by half an inch so this is it and i'm just going to cut this out the top part is going to be on fold okay this is for the 17 inches um color the only di the the only thing that is missing here is that pointy part which i intend to add when i'm cutting on the main fabric so here is a much better explanation of the color so first of all from on the starting line I, ma I measured 17 inches and for the wideness of the color 4 inches and on this part i marked the same 17 inches so i'm just going to connect all of them i made it fast because i've explained this i've explained it earlier so i'm just doing this for the sake of those that didn't understand that first part so on, on this part i measured i marked 5 inches and then connected it just like so and connect this one to the piece okay so this part is going to be on fold. So on this lower part, I'm going to come up by half an inch and I will connect it back to the main line. This helps the neck to relax very well. So now I'm going to draw another base line. This is for the 13.75 inches uh, part. So I'm just going to mark it here and four inches for the wideness of the collar. And I'm going to connect them just like so. Okay, I'm making sure to, that it's up to 13.75. So on this part, so I'm going to extend to 5 inches and then join it back to the base. Okay, this top part is going to be on full. So on this part, half inch upwards and I'll connect it back to the base line. So I'm just going to cut this out. So this is what the color should look like. Okay, so I hope this explanation was much better to understand. So moving on, I'm going to put my fabric on fold and then I'm going to place the pattern paper. Okay, remember this is the main pattern paper that we are working with. The other one was just to explain. Okay, I had to make that video to explain this part very well. Place the pattern paper, making sure that this part is on the open side. So I'm just going to place it this way, hold it down with pins so the difference between this one and the smaller one is that pointy part so i'm just going to get this one and i'll place it just like so just in case you run out of pattern paper just like i did here this is what you're going to do and i'm going to mark that pointy part and that is basically it and then i'll cut this adding half inch all around this part also i'm going to place this this is a smaller a smaller color going to hold it with pins and then i'll also cut adding half inch around it so here this is what we have for the two of them now i'm going to take out the pattern uh, i'm going to add interfacing to this i'll bring it back to show us so here i've added my interfacing placing this on fold i'm going to go and stitch here and this part so here i've done that i'm just going to trim down the excess that i have on this part and also do the same for this one so i'm going to turn this to the right side make sure to push push out this pointy part and i'm going to go and use the stitch to hold this part down next i'm going to get the outfit and i'm going to turn it to the wrong side and then grabbing the two color i'm going to place this one just watch what i did here where we have that v-shape i'm going to place them touching each other like so the long one for the longer part and the short one for the other side so i'm just going to hold this first with pins make sure that the two colors are kissing each other and i'm doing this thing from the wrong side so next thing i'm going to use my clips to hold it all around all the way to the zipper allowance and i'll do the same for this other side and i'll go and stitch this with half an inch so this is what i have when i'm done so the next thing i'm going to do now on this part i'm going to notch it okay we're going to notch very close to 
the same. I'm just using this chalk so we'll understand what I'm saying. So I'm just going to notch very close to the seam. Be careful so you don't cut the seam. So because I'm using a stretchy fabric, I won't be notching the rest of the collar. But if you're not using a stretchy fabric, you need to notch all around the neckline. So here I'm just going to turn it to the right side and this is what we have. So I'm going to go and top stitch all around that neck. So here I've done that half top stitch and what I'm going to do now is to trim down this excess that I have here and this is it our collar is set so the next thing I will do is to work on the sleeve so for the sleeve it has this tiny little bow so I just stitch this um, tiny square and use this rope to hold it down just like so so I'm just going to get the sleeve is a, is a three quarter sleeve and I'll mark the midpoint on this lower part and I'll place this tiny bow on it like so. I'm going to tack it to that part. For how to cut a basic sleeve, I have it on this channel and I'll be linking it in the description. So here I've gone ahead to stitch, attach the sleeve to the dress and this is what we have. So when you're fixing the zipper, something to take note of, you need to fold the collar up a bit like about one inch fold it so that it will look much better thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye